Hey everybody, Christine Burke here, Forensic Genetic Genealogist, and happy Easter. Happy Easter. I think that myself, maybe maybe you guys like me, some of you, um, I just wanted to record this video. I felt compelled to record this video today. Uh, Easter is, is a happy day, um, but it's also another day that can be a sad day. Uh, maybe for many of you, because it's a day that we're supposed to be getting together with our families. And for those of you that don't know your biological family, um, it it can be a sad day. And I see the post, um, cause I'm in the groups. If you don't know about it, I'm a, an NPE and I'm in the groups and I see the post and I understand the gut wrenching feeling. And I guess I just wanted to come on and say that I'm here for you today. Uh, this uh, weekend has been an emotional time for me uh, because I lost my mother um, a year ago yesterday. So yesterday was a little bit of a difficult day. Um, and she's an NPE like me. And it was a real struggle uh, trying to find out about the family. And uh, there are other secrets and skeletons, so to speak. Um, and those will be revealed uh, a little bit later. I'm hoping to finally be able to get my book out. But I wanted to come on and talk about what motivates me and what keeps me going and just talk about uh, a situation. It, it, I, I always default to saying it's funny, um, but it's really not funny. I was at an event Friday night. And I sat next to a lady and she asked what I did. And so I told her I helped the police and people uh, find persons of interest using genetic genealogy, right? And she said, wow, that's so fascinating. And she goes, I don't know who my father is. And she proceeded to tell me her story and that her mother was very flippant and didn't have an answer for her. And whew, do I understand that so well. And I just wanted to come on. And let you know that I am here for a, as a resource for you. If you're an NPE or you're an adoptee, I can quickly and easily and affordably find your family for you. Because I understand the raw hole in you uh, and the desire to know the truth, to get the answers, and to live authentically as who you really are. I get it. Because I went through that myself. And I also am here to talk about if you are a person who is helping others or who wants to help others, or maybe you've been through this like me and realized that your calling is to do what I do, I'd love to work with you. I offer services to help, uh, genetic matching services to individuals to help them find out who they are. And I also train people with experience or without experience to become forensic genetic genealogists. All right. I have a certificate program and I just felt compelled to come on today and talk about it because it's a, it's a sad, but happy day. Um, I lost a lot of my family. Once the truth came out, my, my birth certificate family, as we call it. And I don't have a lot of biological family. Um, and that's a really sad thing. I have biological family members, but they're not in my life. And I understand who that is. But I can say authentically that I stand in my truth. I talk about my truth. And, you know, nobody's going to tell, nobody's going to silence me. Nobody's going to tell me that I can't be who I am and I can't talk about it, whatever. So if you're struggling with that, or if you have seen the struggle or understand the struggle and want to help people get out of that and get the answers that they need, I'm here for you. That's, I believe that, that my life's journey, I was called to do this and that's who I am. And so if this message speaks to you, I invite you to reach out to me. I'll put the link below or you can direct message me. Uh, I just don't want people going through life not knowing who they are. And I believe that I was put here to help. And that's why I went through what I went through. And the answers are there and I will find them for you. I promise you that. Okay. No more secrets. No more lies. You be you. I'm thinking of you all today. Have a great day.